Well, it's Agnes coming to you with the uh, crepe paper daisy. You ready to make some more flowers? Um, this one is actually um, <laughs> inspired by pieces that I had. And plus, one of you sent me uh, that pretty flower. So I said, why don't I not try? I have enough pieces. So as you can see, is I do have uh, around two inch strip of one color. Actually, two of them are around two inch uh, wide. And all what I'm going to do with them is to simply create the fringe. You know that you've been making flowers with me for some time. So the first piece that I am cutting is actually very tight. I would say a half and a quarter of an inch of um, um, distance in between. Now, when we go to a second one, that it's around three inches wide. Um, and it's really the length I, I did not measure, but I'm going to for sure put this on the blog. This one, I would say definitely around a half an inch distance between each cut, because what we're going to do with this um, strip, we are going to twirl whatever we just cut. So that's a fun process. Um, so here we go. I'm just twirling it away. Okay, so I'm almost done and now it's time to put the little pick to use. I mean, of course, I'm trying to use all the leftovers. Ideally, I would be making flat, I mean, uh, leaves later, but I had that pick that I most likely use for something else. So let's just see if we can use it. So what I like to do in this uh, um, uh, case here is to create a little loop so it's easier for a gray paper to stick together. Otherwise, it is going to simply slide off. And a twirling begins. So I would say is don't twirl at the end of the um, you pick or metal wire you have. I would say on the on the uh, just have at least a third of your um, crepe paper wrapped around. And now we're going to take the second piece the same width, but we are going to install it slightly um, higher. So I would say is you do want to have that little step into the center of the flower. So it's again all twirling it again, a little bit of the hot glue and um, um, you just twirl and um, stretch a little bit. Okay, we are done. And now we're going to have really super fun because ideally I do like to bring some kind of a color. I do not have a powder. Um, to do that, but I do have the uh, diamond dust. So guess what? We are going to have fun a little bit. So what I'm going to bring is a little bit of the yellow paint. I have a diamond dust and I'm going to take the center of my flower that I just made with you. And I'm going to uh, brush a little bit with the yellow right um, on the higher portion. And I'm going to dip them into the diamond dust just to bring a little bit more of the interest. And hopefully that's going to work. And as you can see, it's, it does work. So I'm super excited. So, okay, so now it's time to install uh, that uh, uh, portion, the, the wider portion now that we were just twisting around. And again, the same story, a little bit of the hot glue. And this one I like to install <coughs> uh, on the same level as the original I had, the original strip. So that means lower. And of course, I was so excited about this diamond dust, I guess I forgot to show you. Um, what to do with the um, last, the wider piece, I would say around four or five inches wide. So here, what I'm going to do is before, obviously, first you need to stretch um, your uh, crepe paper and then you are just simply cutting little triangles. And if they fall apart as you cut, it's good. And if not, don't even worry about in this stage. We are going to take care of it later. It is easier in this stage to have your paper folded in half so you are cutting at the same time uh, two pieces. But of course, I'm not going to hold you through this whole process. I'm just going to stop here and then let's just go to another portion. So another uh, part of that is to just simply um, uh, curl with your scissors at the ends that you were just cutting. And when you do that, the pieces that did not fell out as you were cutting them before, on the angle, um, they are actually falling right now. So it's a good way to um, save some time cutting, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so it's done and it's time now to uh, um, um, install the, uh, the last piece into our flower. And I hope that it's going to look like my imaginary daisy. Okay, so I'm doing it again, attaching with a little bit of the hot glue and trying to stay within uh, on the same height. And it's again, this is up to you how, um, you know, how you want to do it. But I usually like to keep, um, hide all the layers. I do actually see some flower forming right there and I'm super pleased with this. Um, uh, the only thing is that what I would say is as I'm looking constantly if I do have enough of that pink gray paper But you know what? That's all what I had so I'm not going to add anymore And I have to tell you this gray paper lasted a long time um, I bought it actually last year and I made so many flowers so of course a little bit uh, stretching pulling and twisting and opening and I think the flower looks pretty good now I'm going to pull those leaves right on the bottom and try to cover um you know the whole um the whole bottom of my flower <clears throat> and for now it's fine and i know i'm going to be making more but i just need to order my crepe paper in a lot of colors i actually do like what i see so here is the close-up of uh now look that little you know the diamond dust is not really showing yet here because obviously it's freshly done right after i made it but it's there and i know i'm going to still do it but I do love how um, the center looks, how interesting it is. And I actually do love the entire flower. So I hope that I inspired you to take your crepe paper and put it to work and start creating flowers with me. I cannot wait to, to hear what you think about it. And if you did enjoy this project, please don't forget to sprinkle. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.